top rated world contender, the acclaimed former two division champion of the world, introducing Danny Swift Garcia. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former U.S. Olympian and current sensational reigning and defending undefeated WBC and IBF welterweight champion of the world, introducing the truth, Errol Spence Jr. That could be significant in this fight. There's a shot that landed from Spence. Good combination. Well, Spence landed, but Danny Garcia connected with the counter right hand left hook. So, you know, this is what Danny's good at. You touch him, he'll play tag with you really well. Spence. He doesn't want to sit on the ropes, I can tell you that, Brian. Spence coming in with that left hand. Garcia able to land with the jab to the body. The left hand there from Spence. Spence is usually content to slow. And there's a right hand from Garcia straight up the middle, able to land. And, you know, Garcia's right hand is not coming straight. It's coming, it's like a whipping right hand. And he throws it very well. We've yeah. seen one round. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 Errol Spence with a jab. Danny Garcia parried it and missed with a counter right hand. Here goes that body shot. Garcia throws that little chopping right. And then a left hook that landed on top of the head. So that's what he'll do to you. And there's that little sweeping right you were talking about, Lennox. But see, Danny Garcia knows how to fight a southpaw. You know, put some real hurt on him and stop him later on in the fight. That could happen. Oh, it got caught in there. A little off balance with the jab after he threw the haymaker right hand. Yeah, He's able to drive Spence back a little bit. That could be significant. Yeah, but that was a good haymaker left hand by Spence. Again, that's a little more information to take here. And oh, that's clearly after the bell. We watch here at the end of the round, getting physical. Now it's late. That was nice. See, Danny Garcia is smart. He's crafty. He's cunning. And uh, he hits hard. So the bell went on. Garcia goes down. Now, that was a trip over the Oh, yeah. Front. Yeah, I just oh. got awkward and went down, of course. I mean, he's such a complete boxer. But there's a hard left hand by Errol Spence who drives Garcia back. To the body. He hit him to the body for sure. And Errol and Danny tried to counter and fell off. He doesn't have that body where you think he's going to hurt you. It's a hard right hand by Garcia. But he is able to really lay the wood to you. Yeah, he, he's putting his body behind his punches as well. He's, he's, he's launching that, that left hand from far and is, and is coming with pressure on him, forcing him to either throw a punch so he can do something off of that. Good jab work there by Errol Spence. He spins Garcia around and he continues to punch. Hey, that's fair game. Yeah, that's all right. Right, and there's a good hard shot by Garcia. I think, I think that favors Spence, because if you're a judge looking at this, it looks like Spence is winning round after round. Okay? I don't disagree with you. All right. But I'm saying some of the harder shots are being landed by the counter-punching of Danny Garcia. I agree, and he's just whistled one right there. And, and there's two right there that just landed from Garcia. And, uh, you know, oh. I think, oh, great, great combination by Spence right there. You know, Danny needs to move that head a little bit and not get caught like That's that. A whistling left hand right there. And Lennox, what did you say to me between rounds? This is flying. No, 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 we're yes. in the fifth round. Yeah, we're in the fifth it, round. Incredible. I can't believe this. Looks like... The Errol Spence that we saw oh. last September. Oh. Wow, right hand over the top well, by Garcia, but it missed. Well, no, I'll tell you what. Spence landed one, and Garcia countered, and it looked like it wobbled him right there against the rope. See, where did that right hand go? That was the right hand that went over the top. Well, Spence throws, and boom, oh. there, it, it hit him. Of course it did. That's well, a 10-9 round for oh, Joe Goose. It was a glancing uh -huh. shot. Well, you know, with a whole bunch of knuckles in that glance, all right? Joe, you won that one. Good job. I tell you, at your age to see that, that's well done. Likely if he's 100%. And Spence looks 100%. Look at that jab. Beautiful work. Neither fighter has been knocked down as a professional. These guys are both mentally and physically tough. Spence, though, has made guys quit in the ring. Yeah, look, Spence is, is really, really starting to put a lot of leather on Danny Garcia. That was a good body shot as he exited. You can see that eye, that left eye for Danny Garcia starting to close up a little bit, taking a beating, and now he's pinned up against the ropes. Let me tell you a, a, a mistake that Danny's doing. He's allowing Spence to be first. Every time they, they come out of a clinch and go back, Spence is the one that's, Errol Spence is the one that's starting the action and ending the action you can, and starting the action again. You can, gets the angle he's looking for against Garcia. Right hand lands by Garcia. That was a hard shot. 
now a hard shot. That's a hard right hands. They were they were blocked, and, and you know Errol Spence is doing the right thing, keeping his hands up. It's always dangerous in these last rounds. Right on the belt line from Errol Spence, able to land to the body. I mean, he's just so consistent with his shots. And Errol Spence is a machine tonight against a really, really good counter puncher, smart, high IQ fighter, and Danny Garcia. Blocked that right hand from Garcia. Yeah, he did. Spence well, he went down to look at his feet or something. Not sure what that was. What happened to the something? Pop, did the mouthpiece pop out? Yes. Okay. On Angel's part, um, look, he's giving it his best shot, giving Danny instructions. They just aren't working. Errol Spence is too much. You know, they need a grand slam, not a home run. But I thought, again, that's why, Joe, I was saying at the beginning of the fight, Garcia would have to do something different. Otherwise, it would be just, hey, a close loss. We tried. We did our best. And against Spence, you had to do look, more the than counterpunch. The best lead plans of mice and men, as they say. Look, you can have all the plans you want, but when Errol... No, but they didn't plan it, Joe. What I'm saying is they well, didn't plan that. You, they planned to do their thing, well, and this is their thing. You don't know. You don't know. They could have tried it, and it didn't work, and they gave up real quickly. But the, you can't go through a whole career not doing that. Right, right. I, I agree, I agree. You know, I agree. That's what we're saying. Here, Errol Spence going back to work. If Garcia tries to flurry, and now they tangle up on each other. Final minute of this fight. And let's see if Danny Garcia has one last gasp in him, a last stand. He needs something miraculous to pull this out. Hoping that Spence comes toward him for something meaningful. Spence, look at the energy level, able to bounce and oh, faint. Yeah, yeah. Fainting is, is, is so important when you're at this level. Listen for the bell, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. All three in favor of the winner. And still, the undefeated, unified WBC and IBF welterweight champion of the world, the truth.